Hey, what's up? I'm Tay Lee G, one of the biggest artists out of Toronto. And allow me to introduce myself. Who's up and coming? Who's got next? This is... Allow me to introduce myself. I've been rapping for roughly about a little over two years now. Completely like solo. I used to be in a duo, but now I'm solo. And that's been going on for like a year and change. So yeah, all together about two years, a little bit over two years now. I would describe my sound as 90s hip hop mixed with like modern hip hop. I feel like my tone, my voice is very 90s, um, but I feel like my flows, uh, the things I rap about is very now, very current. Uh huh. First picker. Yeah. Find motivation. I'ma sit up in the mirror. I'ma outdo these bitches with my Crocs and sports mo. When we drop, other drops get postponed. <laughs> Kept my seat warm. Watch this chick get dethroned. Newly LGB. Now a bitch by coastal. If who would influence me on the '90s side would probably be Foxy Brown, Biggie Smalls, a little bit of Tupac, and Little Kim for sure. When it comes to music, I've always loved the performing side of it. Like, probably since like middle school I've been performing. I used to do dance competitions and stuff. I was on dance teams and stuff. So when I started doing rapping, it just kind of like all worked together. Like, it's just kind of came natural to me. I didn't start writing raps. I started someone else writing for me. I was in a duo, and so we had like a writer and everything. And then when I was no longer in a duo, I was like, okay, I wanna like really put time into this and learn the craft and learn how to do it on my own and be you know, completely independent in creating. And so that's what I did. I just took the time. I'm in the studio all the time and I just learned how to write. I used to do poetry though, so it kind of, kind of goes hand in hand. My creative process starts usually with feeling. It's about how I feel that day and that usually inspires the beat. Um, and then once I find the beat, if the beat is like really, really hard, then I'm able to just write right away. But if it's something that like, you know, I can I have to find, sometimes I have to find something in the beat that I really like and then work off of that. And then in that case, I'll just reference. Literally like I'll mumble over the beat and like find a cadence that I really like. And once I find a cadence that I like, I'll write to that cadence. That's pretty much how my music comes about. Got a lot of options. Yeah, chocolate nutty, get it creamy, calling her Baskin Robbins. She yeah. gon' eat it like she's starving. She my Pac-Man for real. My ass so heavy, it be feeling like a backpack for real. My favorite artist, first and foremost, I'm a Barb, so definitely Nicki Minaj. I have to be a fan of Drake, of course, because I just feel like he just knows what he, he does. He's like, he's brilliant at what he does. And um, then Meek Mill, because I love his energy. I love like the energy he puts into his music. And then I have to say Beyonce, because I feel like she's a hard worker, and I feel like there's something so beautiful about the way that she can like touch the heart of like someone that's like a child and is like completely innocent to someone that's like lived a life of like 70 years and everyone could still vibe to the same kind of song. Once I put up Porcelain Smiles and I introduced that I had twins to the world, I feel like I haven't really like, I'm very like iffy about putting my kids on the internet. And so I feel like it does still surprise people when I tell them I have twins and people are like, what? How do you like juggle music and then being a mom at the same time? And so I feel like it's always a shocker, especially just saying you have twins, but like saying I have kids period, but like having twins is crazy. Especially a boy and a girl, like the dynamic is ridiculous. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? And I ain't get a shit on them. I think. One of my biggest mistakes I ever made um, is, I think second guessing myself is a big mistake and I feel like I make that, I still make that mistake to this day. I feel like um, sometimes when I wanna do something, I second guess it before I actually go ahead and do it. And I feel like it kinda like 
holds me back from like prospering, I guess. Like it just, I don't know, it's something that I feel like I need to work on. I need to be confident in the choices that I make sometimes. Cause I feel like I make a lot of great choices, but I, it takes me longer to make that choice because I'm always thinking like, should I make that choice? Yeah. Yeah, so my real name is Shyla. So they call me Shy or Shy Shy. My dad calls me Shy Shy. And I have this one aunt that I love that called me Beyonce since I was like, yay high. And I think that she just seen potential in me. So then <laughs> let's, let's break down Taylor G, where did that come from? Okay, so Taylor G literally came from like nothing. It was like, I grabbed it from the air and ran with it. My um, best friend, uh, like back when we were in like grade seven, grade eight on Facebook days, you know when people had like dimples um, and China bumps and you know, like the most outrageous names on Facebook. So my best friend's name was Maya Lee Stunner. And I was like, okay, well let's make names that are kind of close. So I was Tay, cause my middle name is Tyler and I just made it like more feminine, I guess. So I put Tay and then Lee came from literally her saying Maya Lee. So it was Tay Lee. And then the G at the end of it came from me being like in love at the time with Omarion and his last name is Granberry. So literally it came from a bunch of nothing and it just stuck and everyone, yeah, it just stuck. say you can't be around no bums, nigga you a bum. All my haters popped and chewed up, bitches bubble gum. How was B for me? Go pay your child support. I can't expect support. Don't pay their child support. All this time you spent on me, your money getting short. I have seen it all. I have a few hidden talents because I feel like I'm generally good at like basically everything. Um, I can cook really well, but also I'm very flexible. So I think that's a hidden talent because no one knows that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very flexible and I'm double jointed as well. I haven't done it in a long time, but I could literally take my arm and twist it all the way around. I took gymnastics, but not for a very long time. Um, I think as a kid, I was just like doing random shit. Like I think as a kid, I would just like experiment with like, like what my body could do, I guess, if that makes sense. Recently, I performed at the Legacy Awards, which was such a big deal, and I'm very honored to have been considered to be on stage with greats. I also dropped my two-pack Waiting to Exhale with You're the One and Taylor Page, so make sure you guys go check out that. I'm also flying to LA very soon to go shoot the video for both songs, so you guys, make sure you stay tuned. Also, my song 28 Bars is out recently. It's a freestyle and you know, it's great vibes. It gives kind of 90s flows, but you know, also modern, also current. So go check that out. If you guys are looking for me, you can go follow me on all social media at Taylee G. That's T-A-A-Y-L-E-E-G. Hey, I'm Taylee G and I just introduced myself. Don't pay child support. All this time you spend on me, your money getting short.